hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Martha I'm happy to have you here so um today's video is um, a sequel to the previous video where I showed you guys my, st my stamp so a lot of you might not know this but a lot of you still know I recently started a small business where I sell cakes and sandwiches and parfait and all. so for the small business you I was kind of looking for a way for ways to cut costs and of course as a DIY person I just had to be creative with my stuff okay i'm going to use them to package my cake slices all right time is of the essence and time is money so let's jump right in okay so the things i'm using for this video as you have seen previously is the brown paper i'm using this brown paper because it's a bit soft um but let me just use it okay let me just start with this one i was looking for something stronger than this but i'll start with this one but the next one i'm going to do i'll do it with sugar paper and you guys to see it see it okay so let me just start with this brown paper first brown paper i got them for 17 naira each i don't know if some places is 100 naira, so maybe it's 15, 15 naira. i don't know but i got this for 17, 17 naira each so i have like two here then i have a paint painter's brush or artist, artist brush i got this one for 100 naira okay then I have bond, top bond, the small size. I got one for 300. I wanted to use this glue stick, but apparently I couldn't find any. The ones I saw in um, the mall, they are water glue, but it's still this brand. I'm going to use bond instead. Um, bond is, might be a little bit hard, so I'm going to put a little bit of water to like dilute it. Then I have super glue here. Then I have a ruler here. I could have used a tape, but let me just use a ruler. It's much better. So let me use a ruler. Um, it's already. It has been stamped here already. My brand, my uh, business name has been stamped here already. So this is the stamp itself, all right. And then I bought the stamp pad or stamp ink. So each one comes in two, I think. Yeah, say one is purple, one is black. But let's see, let's see, okay. So let's just begin, all right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out my brown paper. Let's... Okay, so before I cut into the shape of or into the sizes I want for my paper bag I'm going to start by stamping my brown paper so I'm going to do it on one side because the side that I'm going to put outside but the inside I'm not going to stamp it so this is much better because this is going to glue better right so I will not use the purple one and let me use the black one instead oh it's like this is the purple I don't know but let's use the black so I'm going to try it out on a piece of paper, right? So this is it. So here you go. I'm kind of excited. Oh, okay. This one came out black. I'm not really a fan of that black one. I'm not going to lie. Let's see the purple. Hmm. The purple has the shade of blue, so I think it's okay. I think it's okay because blue is actually my brand color. So let's start with this. I'm just going to put it anyhow. I'm not. I'm not like measuring out how I'm doing it. I'm just going to just do my thing. In case you guys want to know i got this stamp oh it's already messing up my hand i got this stamp for 2000 naira okay if we i, I got it for 2000 naira. i got this one for like is it 500 i think this is 500 this is 500 yeah that's it my ruler was 15 naira my super glue 100 naira 15 naira okay so i have this stamp my stamp everywhere so let me proceed to cutting okay so this place is a little bit glossy but let's see what we can do right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure out this is 30 centimeter okay so i'm just going to measure accordingly i can just use the tape for it's fine Okay. 
I kind of use this uh, knife cutter to like trim these edges because the scissors do not give me a sharp, a sharp um, cut. Then I trim these edges. As you can see, the pieces are just all over here. Okay, so this is it, right? Okay, so I'm going to make sure where I glued together, the two parts that I glued together are in the center, right? So I'm going to use this ruler to like give it a clean slip, okay? So I'm going to fold here in. I just want to fold the little part. I feel it was too long anyway, but that's fine. That's totally fine. So I'm going to fold these two sides. I'm not measuring, but you want to measure, that's also fine. This is, um, well, mine is more than one centimeter, though. Yeah, it's more than one centimeter. But you can just fold one centimeter. I think I'll, the next batch that I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it one centimeter each. So after doing that, I'm just going to pick this side. Let me pick this side as the base, then here will be the top, right? Let me leave it here. Okay, so where's my pen? I just want to make a little mark here. <laughs> so I know how to fix So. Once I've done that, I'm just going to bend it. Still attempting to make a clean cut, right? Okay, so I'm going to open this side and still push it down. Right. So after doing that, the next thing I want to do, I'll open it real nice not so much but i'm just going to open it to form a triangle here and i'm also going to form a triangle over here just maintain this line right while maintaining that line of course i'm just going to open another triangle okay so proceed to make my triangle more sharper of course, I'm still going to use this to make sure it's really clean. But make sure this line is there. Oh. I'm going to go back to my glue. I would still advise you use glue stick if this is something you'd like to try. Yeah. But if, but but if you have money, please just go and look at where you buy your paper bags. Actually, why why I'm doing this is because I found somebody where I could buy paper bags from. But the person told me six thousand for is it twelve or something like six thousand? Why? Why should it be six thousand, right? But like why? So let me dust this off a bit. So I'm going to fold this one in a little. It's just something I can make in less than ten minutes. So why, why, why? Okay. So I'm going to fold this one. So I'm going to also glue this other side. So here, I did not put the glue here. Let me see if I can put it so that it's not like as if I did not put it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I put that one. So now I just go ahead and fold this one over here. Okay, so after doing that, can leave it to dry. This is it. This is the bag itself. So I'm just going to leave this to dry, then I can arrange it, and then I'm going to just try and see if I can put, just package it for you guys. Let's do this one.
here so okay so this is like the largest one that i made the largest one i made 